I was really shocked and I was extremely disappointed because I thought this is like killing a mosquito with a sledgehammer and I felt very, very disappointed. And I, I think it's very disgraceful, this ruling from the Disciplinary Committee. I find it very, very disgraceful. The FA are telling us that there are five regions which is Article 13 of the FA in Division 1 regulation, for which matter shareholders have been banned for five years and all of that. Now, legally, as now do fully articulate intelligently, that you cannot even charge a person whose name is absent from a charge sheet, all right? And that Article 13.1 of the same regulation states that withdrawal from a competition is only a misconduct, and the punishment is a loss of points and a fine of a thousand Ghana cities. Okay. Furthermore, we, we educated that Article 17, 18, 19, and 24 states clearly that only Congress can expel a, a, a member. You know, and again, from a legal perspective, I'm not a lawyer, so I'm being careful, as we all been educated, that a DFA this one code of Article 62 does not even apply in this particular context. And the reason I feel very, very sad about this particular ruling is that, look, it's as if you are, you are witch hunting, and it's not, it doesn't bode well for the well-being of our football fraternity. This is a family. Now, what are the uh, uh, issues confronting us right now? Nanea decides that for reasons best known to himself, a fire rangers were withdrawing from the Ghana football. And then Galka intervened and rise to the FA on the 7th of June. And uh, I mean, spoke to the, the GFB General Secretary that, look, we are intervening, so we do not think that it will proceed uh, with any action. And the GFB General Secretary, Pair, uh, Kujofian, who is the president of the Galka, acknowledged uh, their intervention only for a letter to be written uh, on the 9th. But in any case, Fire Rangers responded that decision two days later. So what is the crime that Fire Rangers have committed to warrant such a huge punishment? I don't really get it. And I'm saying that let's not play the ostrich. We do know that the relationship between Nanayao and the hierarchy of the FA, it requires acrimonious. There is a schism between uh, the two. And we should be careful not to play into that, those conspiracy theories, which suggest that this is only which hand. It may not be the case, but if the FA is not careful, this is what it's leading to. My humble advice is that the discipline committee, for me, this is, this is most embarrassing. I, I do not think that it's in the right direction. I do not think that it serves Ghana football well. If one of our members has misconducted itself and rescinded the discipline, if you want to send the right signals and punishment, I think that in the worst case scenario, you can even find the club. But to decide to, not only to expel the club, but to ban directors and shareholders, if you're not careful, the conspiracy theory is that you are specifically targeting an individual and there's a reason you are doing what you're doing. And it's not good for Ghana football.